to prepare for the retro challenge event i had to swap the power supply on my silicon graphics o2 and tinker with the ram since the o2 power supply died in december i ordered a replacement from acronym systems in texas and it arrived in time for the start of the retro challenge It only took a few minutes to swap the power supply and reconnect all the cables and power cords. Once the power was turned on, the system started up automatically and played the familiar O2 chime. After the computer finished booting, I played a few soundtracks to test the audio system. At this point, I started seeing critical ECC memory errors. When I rebooted the O2 again, the front LED blinked orange to let me know there was a system memory error. This meant I had to disconnect all the wires and pull out the O2's main circuit board. I started by reseeding the RAM in the memory bank and then tested the computer. In the end, I got the O2 to boot again by removing a pair of the DIMMs and rearranging the RAM. In the next video, I'll start the process of rewriting the mini sub game to work on IRIX.